the five worst Shark Tank pitches and what we can learn from them. ABC's Shark Tank, now in its 10th season, features a panel of successful business people including Mark Cuban, Kevin O'Leary, Lori Greiner, Robert Herjavec, Damon John and Barbara Corcoran, as well as celebrity guest investors like Ashton Kutcher and Richard Branson. While the show has led to considerable success for a few entrepreneurs, it's also known for featuring ridiculous pitches that get torn apart by the sharks. Not all bad pitches mean bad products, and not all successful pitches lead to good products. It takes both good salesmanship and a compelling business idea to succeed on the show. Some of the products that didn't make it were potentially great businesses pitched poorly, while others were clearly chosen for their entertainment value. Let's take a look at some of the worst pitches. Number 5. No Phone The No Phone is a wooden device created to help people reduce their dependency on electronic devices. Its investors believe that it can provide the comfort of holding a device without the distraction of a real smartphone. However, when they presented it on Shark Tank, the Sharks dismissed the idea as a mere novelty item with limited appeal and were surprised that it was selected over other businesses with more potential. It's reasonable to assume that for a pitch to be successful, there needs to be something tangible to present to potential investors. A mere wooden block does not seem to have any distinguishing features compared to other household items one could hold. Therefore, it is unlikely to be a compelling enough concept to impress investors and secure funding. Number 4. Throx Throx is a company that recognized the common problem of losing socks and decided to create a business solution for it. While the issue of lost socks may not be a significant concern for most people, Throx saw an opportunity to provide a practical solution. The concept behind Throx is simple yet effective. They offer socks in sets of three instead of the traditional two. This way, if one sock goes missing, you still have a matching pair to wear. However, the sharks on Shark Tank were not convinced by this idea, as they believed it would lead to customers accumulating a pile of mismatched socks that have no real use. It's a well-established fact that a successful pitch requires a product or service that solves problems rather than creating new ones. While pitching a product, it's crucial to ensure that it has a clear value proposition and addresses a real need in the market. Number 3. Skinny Mirror The Skinny Mirror is a product that claims to make women look skinnier, but its intentions have been questioned by the sharks on Shark Tank. While women have the right to feel beautiful and use products that enhance their appearance, it's important to ensure that these products are honest and not misleading. The sharks were skeptical of Skinny Mirror's intention to sell the product to stores rather than consumers. This raised concerns about how women would perceive themselves while trying on clothes in the store. The distorted image that the skinny mirror provided in the store could lead to disappointment and dissatisfaction when women saw their real image in a non-distorted mirror at home. In essence, the skinny mirror's true purpose was to deceive women into believing they look skinnier than they really are. And this goes against the values of honesty and authenticity. It's essential to prioritize transparency and integrity in marketing and promoting products that cater to women's appearance. If you're looking to make a successful pitch for your product, it's crucial to ensure that the product is honest and transparent in its purpose. Deceiving customers is never a good business strategy and can ultimately harm your brand's reputation. Number 2. Elephant Chat Communication is key in any relationship, especially in marriage. But what happens when couples struggle to address difficult issues and communicate effectively? Jason and Amanda Adams attempted to solve this problem with Elephant Chat, a stuffed elephant in a box that serves as a visual cue to indicate that there is an important issue that needs to be addressed. While the concept of Elephant Chat may seem cute and quirky, the sharks were not convinced. The product's steep price point of $60 for a small stuffed animal in a box did not justify its purpose. The sharks ultimately passed on the product and it has not gained much success in the market since. It's important to recognize that while a unique idea may grab attention, the success of a product ultimately comes down to its practicality and value for the customer. A high price point for a product that serves a relatively simple purpose is not likely to gain much traction in the market. When making a pitch, it's essential to consider the practicality and value of the product as well as its potential market appeal. Number 1. The Ionic Ear it's no surprise that the Ionic Ear is considered the worst pitch in Shark Tank history. This product was a Bluetooth device that had to be surgically implanted into the customer's ear, with the intention of avoiding the inconvenience of losing or misplacing a Bluetooth earpiece. Unfortunately, the product was a perfect example of a bad pitch, bad salesman, and bad product. The Sharks were not interested in investing in such a risky and unnecessary product, and they quickly dismissed the idea. In fact, the Sharks continue to ridicule the Ionic Ear in interviews for years to come. It's clear that the Ionic Ear failed to impress anyone, and it serves as a reminder of the importance of presenting a well-thought-out and viable business idea in any pitching situation. 
That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.